Hi, I'm Elliot Lindsay, Project Biologist at Trout Unlimited Canada, and today I'm going to talk to you about beavers and their effects on fish habitat. Beavers, our national animal, are simultaneously beloved, maligned, and misunderstood, mostly due to the often radical effects they can have on water bodies as well as on infrastructure and trees near the water's edge. During the winter time, we sometimes have a unique opportunity to look more closely at some of the features associated with beaver ponds, like this one, which has dried up, forcing the beavers to move elsewhere. Upon closer look, we can even see the entrance to the lodge, which would normally be below the water surface to prevent predators from getting inside. Beaver lodges are often associated with a ponded area behind a dam and are constructed of woody material as well as mud, stones, and just about anything the beavers can carry and paste onto the outside. In order to mark their territory, beavers will build scent piles, like this one, and mark them with secretions to let other beavers know that this is their turf. Around the beaver pond, networks of beaver trails provide access to food sources from the pond and act as hauling routes for collected branches and trees, which can be dragged back to the lodge. The level of the beaver pond is controlled by one or many dams, which range in width and height and are made of sticks, stones, mud, and just about any other debris that the beavers are able to collect from the area. Beaver dams are often viewed as barriers for animals like fish. While a beaver dam may be a barrier for fish trying to move upstream during certain seasons such as winter or late summer when flows are low, native fish communities co-evolved over thousands of years in the presence of large numbers of beavers and will often migrate during periods of high flow when obstacles like beaver dams are more easily surpassed. Beavers and their activities can also benefit fish by increasing the connection between a stream and its floodplain, which helps to raise the water table and support healthy streamside plant communities that are rich in diversity. Sure, beavers do eat a lot of trees, and they can cause some real headaches for urban foresters and landowners alike, but if we take a deeper look at the areas around a beaver pond, we find that they are indeed tree farmers, cultivating a community of young trees and shrubs that they need for food. When we look even further, we see that beavers leave a lot of plants alone, selectively felling some species while leaving others in place. In this way, beavers change streamside plant communities wherever they go. When beaver felled trees are carried away in the river, or when beaver dams fail during spring floods, they provide a good source of woody debris, which makes great habitat for fish. Small or juvenile fish, which would be easily snapped up in the deep and fast waters of the main channel, can find refuge in the shallow fringes around the edge of the beaver pond and in the many small outlets which trickle downstream of dams where larger fish simply can't fit. Many species of fish will use these complex habitats for part of their life cycle, free of predators as a nursery where they can feed and grow. While beavers can create a lot of headache for humans, they can also be very powerful agents of ecosystem change by altering water bodies and ecosystem processes across their range. Beavers and people don't always see eye to eye, but we have a lot to learn from these amazing ecosystem engineers.